Well, hey, friends, this is Jennifer, and this is The Jennifer Allwood Show, the podcast for women who want to find freedom in both their life and in their business. I own a multi seven figure a year coaching business. I'm also a certified life coach. So I have the honor of helping thousands of women every single month make money in the online space and help them to get unstuck from whatever is holding them back, all without sacrificing their faith or their family. In this show, you're going to get the very best life and business advice, always with a healthy dose of Jesus. So buckle in, my friend. I'm so so excited that you are here. Well, hey friends, welcome back to the podcast. This is podcast episode number 300. We should have done something special for 300, but I've done like so many more podcast episodes than that because remember when I was doing, we called them the Monday fires and there was like well over a hundred of those. So man, I've been podcasting for a hot minute, 300 episodes. It feels like a big deal. So I'm excited. I'm excited to be here. I'm going to talk about something that I've never talked about before on the podcast, which is the epidemic of online education. (laughs) And, um, And this is not meant to like throw shade at anyone or to discourage any of you from taking um, any sort of class in the online space. I teach classes in the online space. I love online education. Uh, My mom just recently at 71 years young, has signed up to be an end of life doula. And she is taking that all online. She used to be a labor and delivery nurse. And so she was saying, you know, I used to help bring people into this world and now I'm going to help um, transition people out of this world, which I just think is such a beautiful thing. And she's doing that all online. Um, I looked up some stats for you. So the the online learning, like the the e-learning market, the online education market, is projected in the year 2025, so just, you know, two years from now, two and a half, to be a $325 billion a year industry. $325 billion, you guys. That is huge. That is a lot of pennies. Can I just say it's a lot of money? I mean, my goodness. And here's the thing. I love online education. I love it. Um, Online education has changed our life. Me teaching people, uh, whether it's through one of my courses, one of my groups, my my mastermind, what have you, it, it's like for us, it's changed our life. And um, but I have a couple of thoughts around the idea of online education that I want to share with you. And this is in particular for those of you who are putting education out into the world. Like you're, you have a course, you have a paid group, you're doing consulting. I think you need to know some of the things that I'm about to tell you. Okay, because there is an epidemic of people purchasing online education, signing up for courses, signing up for groups, signing up for masterminds. And yet they'll feel a little frustrated because they're not seeing like a huge change, a huge shift in their own business. Or if they are signing up for art classes and they're not noticing a huge change, they're not, they're not actually doing anything with the content. And this is the epidemic that I'm seeing. Did you know the average completion rate for a course right now online is less than 15%? Less than 15% of the people who purchase a course, if you sell a course, will actually finish it. That is horrible, you guys. It's a horrible statistic. 15%. And so I have some thoughts about what we can do about this. I was talking to my brand new group of Better Way students this week, and I'm going to read a couple of things to you that a couple people said, and that's when I decided to do a podcast on this topic. So Renee um, Bartosh said, you're the only coach I've ever heard tell and remind people to not only watch your content videos, but to implement them. I'm guilty also of consuming, but not implementing. That's what she said. The girl named Brittany Box, who's in my course, said, it's doing the thing that does the thing. And I'm like, yes. And then there's this last quote I wanted to read you from a lady named Jocelyn, who said, we're addicted to education, but allergic to execution. Okay, can I read that again? And can can we like get a tattoo made of that or something? We're addicted to education, but we're allergic to execution. Okay, because this is what's happening. 
we have so many people running around saying that they want to grow their business. And so they think if I just take one more class, one more course, get one more coach, take one more mastermind, do one more thing, do one more thing, do one more thing, that finally I'll like find the thing. I'll finally discover the hidden tip that nobody's telling me about my business that's going to change everything. If I just take one more course, if I just get one more coach, if I just do one more whatever, spend a little more money here, invest a little more money there, I'll somehow get the one thing that has been hidden just slightly out of grasp for me for years and years and years, that's going to change everything. And it's just not true. Friends, it's just not true. That is not what is what will actually change anything. What about taking those 47 classes that you've already taken, those 11 courses that you've already purchased and actually implementing them? That's what's going to change the thing. It's not purchasing and signing up for and just consuming more content. That changes nothing. You can go sit in a church building every week, but if your heart is not shifted, if you're not implementing what you've learned, if you're not letting the Holy Spirit guide you, like you're just sitting there and it changes nothing. It's the same exact thing with just consuming more education online, thinking that that's going to be. It, it finally, that one course, well, you're going to catch something that you've never caught before. No, you've got to actually do the things that you're learning. That's what changes everything. And what so many people are doing is they're so scared of implementation that they're buffering, meaning stalling, making themselves feel better by just buying another. I won't actually go ahead and make my Facebook business page. I'm going to just buy another course on courses. And eventually, you know, I, I'll learn everything I need to know. And then I'll actually start the business page and start the business. No, backwards, backwards, bass backwards. That's what my husband says. That's bass backwards. <laughs> In my better way program. <laughs> In my better way program. Sorry about that. We've added some things in this time that I want to tell you about that I think is going to help our implementation rate dramatically. Okay. We've gamified it, which means that we're, as people are going through my program, it's eight modules long. At the end of every module is a 10, um, a 10 question quiz. And you have to take the quiz before you can get to the next module. So you can sit and you can consume our content like it's a Netflix series. You can absolutely do that. You can watch it like I watched uh, Uhtred, Son of Uhtred. You can absolutely do that if you'd like to. Uh, But you have to take the quizzes along the way, which shows that you actually have learned something And then at the end of the program, we do have a gift that we send out for anybody that completes the program. So we're gamifying it. We're trying to make it so that people feel like, you know, they're actually going to get to the end because so many people buy things and then they never, ever, ever, never, ever actually complete them. So we're gamifying. We've noticed in, we've had our Better Way program now for five years. It used to be called the Creator's Roadmap. That after week three, and I want you that have courses to think about this. After week three, we're getting people to show up for week three. That's when the most drop-off happens. People week one, gung-ho. People week two, you know, they're still like, they're still hot to trot. They're still excited. But by week three is when people are falling off. Because you know what they they realize? Oh, this is going to actually take work. Oh, uh, now I actually am going to have to do the thing that I'm scared to do. And so week three is where we have most of the drop-off. So we have put things into place like an accountability coach. We have put things into place like extra uh, contact points with our members at week three, because that's when we know that we have the most people who are stopping the consumption of, of content, which guarantees they probably are not implementing anything that they have learned. So, so keep that in mind. Okay. Listen, the majority of you, if you are somebody that takes courses, you need to know that about anything that you take can probably work. You can take a class from me. You can take a class from this girl over here, that guy over there. You could do, you know, my mastermind. You can do somebody else's mastermind. You can do my monthly coaching group. You can do 10 other people's monthly coaching group. All of the education right now, it's kind of like a diet, right? Because you're wondering which one, which one should I do? Which one's actually going to work? Is it Jen's or is it somebody else's? Which one should I actually do? And the truth is just like with a diet, like any of them are going to work if you actually work it. Like if I really was serious about dropping 20 pounds right now, I could do Weight Watchers and that would work. If I was really serious and actually did keto, I could do that and that could work. If I actually really did a carnivore diet and really like really actually like did the work instead of just reading about it, that would probably work too, right? 
So any of them are going to work. Probably anything that you take and sign up for is going to work if you actually just do it. So I wanted to just bring this out onto a podcast today for a twofold reason. Number one, if you are a content creator, if you are putting things out into the world that people are purchasing, if you've got a course, a paid membership consulting, make sure that you are thinking from the angle of how do I get people not just to consume my content, but to actually implement it so that they get results. Because just consuming the content is not going to give you testimonial. That's not going to give you case studies. You want people to finish what they start and you want people to actually do what you're teaching them, right? I mean, is it nice to get a sale? Absolutely. But you know what I am way more concerned about? Shifting people's lives. I literally want to change people's lives. That's way more fun than just having huge launches where people sign up for things. When I get testimonials of people who have actually done the work, I got one from a girl named Christy this week who's like, I can't thank you enough for teaching me years ago how to do stuff in the online business. She's got two seven figure a year businesses right now. And like that is what trips my trigger. It's not just more people buying my courses. It's actually putting this stuff into practice, being ballsy enough. Can I just say that? That you quit just like consuming stuff and then stopping and acting as though if you just buy a few more things, you'll finally like unlock this secret thing. No, you're unlocking nothing. You need to do something with what you've already got. You need to actually put some stuff into place that you've already purchased. You need to go back through one of my programs that you've already purchased from me and actually put some stuff into place and quit trying to protect your ego because I know it's, it feels really vulnerable to like do the thing, right? You know what is also super vulnerable? Staying broke. I've been broke. That feels vulnerable too. So you can either decide that you're going to stay stuck where you are and stay feeling super vulnerable because you don't have any money. You don't have any freedom in your time and in your finances. Things are tight everywhere. You can either stay there or you can actually implement some of the things that I talk about here for free on the podcast in any of my programs. You can actually feel super vulnerable doing that because of course it feels like standing on the internet naked the first time that you put something up for sale. Absolutely it does. That is the cost of entry into the online space. It literally is. So friends, listen, I hope that this was super beneficial for someone today. And if you are someone who has never bought a course, you've never had a coach, you've been looking for a mastermind, you've been looking for a group, you can get on the wait list if you would like to for my mastermind. It is a faith-based, a high-end level of support for myself and my team. It is both one-on-one and group coaching in my mastermind. You can go to creatorsnextlevel.com. It's called the Next Level Mastermind. So you go to creatorsnextlevel.com and just put your name on the wait list. And that commits you to nothing. It just basically says, hey, the next time we're going to open up the wait list towards the end of the year, I'll send you an email with all the details. You can decide then if you'd like to fill out an application or not. But I want you to know I've got an accountability coach in there. And we hold your feet to the fire. And I do check-ins with you, like literally check-ins on Voxer when I haven't heard from you for a little bit. Because I want to make sure that you're not actually just consuming content. You're actually putting the content to use. You're actually putting it into action. So there's not this just you know, obsession and epidemic of education, but that we actually have this shift to people just changing the trajectory of their families for generations to come because they're actually putting into place the things that they're learning. So I hope that that was helpful, friends. If so, send me a DM on Instagram, let me know. And um, I'd love to see you inside my mastermind eventually. Again, that was creatorsnextlevel.com. We'll be opening up towards the end of the year. All right, bless you, my friends. Until next time. Bye-bye. Friend, thank you so much for listening to the podcast again this week. I'm so honored that you come back for every episode and that you share the Jennifer Allwood Show with your friends and family. Every time I see you guys post about it on Instagram or Facebook or something, it just makes me do a little happy. So thank you. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast if you never want to miss an episode. So you can go to Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or Spotify or any of the other podcasting places and subscribe each week so that every week you get the new episode when it releases. So just know that I love bringing you relevant content. I love bringing you great guests. And one of the ways you can help us here at Team Allwood is by leaving the podcast a review. So if you have just a second to do that, would you go over and leave a review for the Jennifer Allwood Show? Thank you again. You're amazing. I'm honored to be here. Until next week. Bye-bye.